Zeit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by BlackRifleCoffee.com. James, uh, you can't escape it. What? You can't escape the magic. I have escaped it. Of Meghan Markle. I've escaped it except for you bringing it up to me. <laughs> I haven't seen a stitch. I haven't seen a stitch of footage. At this point, I'm doing it just for you. Because <laughs> you don't. I mean. I, I, no, I love it. I'm caught up in the, in just the like wonderments. Megan- just like Megan said, we don't really like keep up with the royal family out here. No, no, you don't. You don't. But I do. Um, and the baby name was announced. Baby Sussex. Well. What do you think? That's not its name. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, that's the baby's name. It's Baby Sussex. That's it. What do you think about that? That's not the name, so I don't know what to tell you. That's the name. No, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, that's the name. They don't have the name. They haven't gotten the name yet. That's why they're calling it Baby Sussex. (laughs) The press has not gotten the name yet. I like Baby Sussex. I say we go with it, James. Okay. It's No, so the reason I bring this up, it's trending number one. Yeah, that's what they're calling the baby Sussex. Yeah. So <laughs> it's either royal baby or baby Sussex. I like baby hashtag. Sussex a lot. It's no, so it's hashtag. I'm looking at it now. Hashtag baby Sussex right. is what's trending right now, and I feel pretty pretty good about all of this. I, I really like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what else? <laughs> what do you mean? So you come to me, you don't have a name. It's Baby Sussex. So that's what we're we're going when, with. She when came out with Baby Sussex. To say the name. They aren't know. going to. I have no idea, James. Oh, okay. I know this. They're she on pop- their own timeline. She popped out though. Mm-hmm. She they took the photos and all that stuff. Yeah. And it looked like she had a baby. Um like she yeah. looked she looked re- Do you want to you want to put that I definitely that got, one to rest? I definitely got a message that was like <laughs> Look, I hate I hate Meg just as you know Megan, as much as the next guy. Sure, the princess. But that no, you, you hate the princess is what you're saying. I'm sorry, just to back that up. Yeah, you guys are on a first name basis. The person that te- I'm saying the person that messaged me was like, I hate old Megan as much as the next guy. Right. right. You, hate, you hate Princess Megan. Mm-hmm. Right. As much as the next guy, but you know her nose did spread and she looked real puffy and gross. So I was like, okay. Well, I'll I, give her that. Look, she uh, she definitely looked like she had a child. Um, okay. Was definitely not amped about taking this photo. The other weird thing is they had her walking down a hallway, the two of them together, mm-hmm. holding the baby, and she just looked like she was in so much pain. She was just like, "Fuck this shit." Yeah. Like I'm good. Are we done taking these photos so I can go lay down? Like that. And that's the difference, I think, of the American and. You know, you are you are an American in England where like they are very much about the pageantry. Their whole I mean, the queen, the whole thing is yeah. all for show. Yeah. yeah, yeah they yeah. don't have any say in anything yet. They like. Yeah. It's the pageantry. Sure. It's their t- tradition. So that is just like ingrained in them. Princess Kate was like, this is what you do. Yeah. It's what you do. You go out there, you show. I'm not going to ever think for one second that I wouldn't do that. Yeah. 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 And so that's the difference. Is well, she popped out? Cool, cute baby. I will say that. Yeah, cute looking baby. So I mean, the two of them. Yeah, it's gonna be cute. Congratulations to them. Mm-hmm. Hmm? The princess. Se- he's baby Sussex is seventh in line for the throne. Right. So he should be there he's any before day. Before Harry, at this point, they just <laughs> keep pushing that. Right. Poor Harry. I'm happy for him, by the way. Who? I'm really happy for the, these two. And I just want to keep driving that home. I do want to share with you one really funny 
anecdote, though, because you know her ex-husband, Meghan Markle's ex-husband, got married. Okay. And um, uh, there was a story, I mean, recently, very recently, and there was a story that leaked about them. They went to, like, Vegas or something for his his bachelor party. Mm -hmm. And, like, all of his friends were just rocked the entire weekend, and they kept making toast of, like, look, you're not marrying into royalty. (laughs) But we love you anyways. You'll never be a prince uh, and we love you anyways. And, and just over really and funny. over all weekend long. And uh, I guess they. I, Whatever this motherfucker's life is going to be 10 million <laughs> times more fun than her fucking stupid, boring shit. So he. <laughs> no. It's not fun. Do you know what I mean? It's not fun. Yeah. They're not having fun. Eh, who knows? Who knows? You know, 58 servants sounds pretty fun to me. I'm just saying. Just saying. Not to me. But it was pretty funny, like, thinking about... Because in my mind, I'm thinking about this bachelor party, right? And then what his new wife must feel of, like, man, you were married to a princess, and now you're married to just She definitely wasn't a princess when they were married. No. No, not at all. (laughs) Get-to. The other one, too, uh, was... And we, God, we make fun of this on the show all the time. Um, Amy Schumer named her child, it was a boy, she had a boy. Uh-huh. And so the name of that actually came, the real name of, of the baby came out. And it was Jean, G-E-N-E, Jean. Jean. Must be after her dad, right? I don't know. I, I'm I always so. curious, like, whenever I hear a name like that, it's got to be a family member. It has to. Because it's just... That it, whenever you name a baby an old man's name, right. where you're like, man, he's not going to catch up to that name for another 60 years. Especially now where it's like literally every name is just so weird. And weird or they cool just get or weirder whatever. Weirder and weirder. Well, look. The names like Gene and things like this just get sort of. Maybe it will come around and they will be cool again. You know, you don't know what's happened to me, right? What? I almost got an old man's name, too. Dead serious. I was this close to being named Hamlin. Hamlin. H-A-M-L-I-N. Apparently, it was a family name. Ham dog. <laughs> Ham dog millionaire. <coughs> ham dog. <laughs> Hammy. <laughs> He's about to go ham. Yeah. I mean, maybe, oh, that would have worked. Well, it, w- it worked. wouldn't have worked until, you know, what, 2005 when that Kanye song came out or whatever it was. Yeah, that would have been a long life of Hamlin. Sure. Hamlin Patterson. And the weird thing is, is like I know my grandparents and my great grandparents, right? I, I don't like I don't remember the name Hamlin being in their names. So like I don't how far back are you digging in, in lineage to come up with that? And you know me. I don't really give a sh- shit about 23 and me or like where I came from or my my heritage or all that shit because look it's all we're all Pangeans mm-hmm. you know we're all from Pangea if you want to really trace it back mm-hmm. congratulations let's do it when the continents were combined right. you know give me a good old fashioned Pangean 23 and me gene pool yeah mm-hmm. I, I want to find out what my DNA was from Pangea Right. I want to find out that, you know, my 80th grandfather, all he ate was pears all day because that's all they had there in Pangea. Mm-hmm. Like, let me know that. Right. The rest of it, like the names and all that other bullshit, like, I, you know, you could go back to the Stone Age when it was probably just like a click, you know. Like that could have been like, you know, my 78th grandfather's name. Right. die. Because that's all they knew how to fucking do. Mm -hmm. That's all they knew how to say. Yeah. So I don't want to even go back and be like, I got to name my kids a family name. This is Ross Patterson. I see like naming after dad or something like this, but middle name. Go middle. Go middle, yeah. Because here, here's the thing. It's a lot of pressure to, to live up to, whatever your father or grandfather, especially if they did some, sh- some cool shit. Right. Where you're just like, oof. I yeah. remember LeBron James talking about this, and he was just like, man, my biggest regret in life was naming my first kid LeBron James Jr. Like, now he's got to fucking deal with that. Yeah. And it's true. Like, it, that's totally true. So if it is Gene, you know, after, after a father or something, you know, whatever, 
Look, it, that's always a nice way, I guess, to pay tribute, I guess. But like, yeah. I think about the child where it's like, man, that's Gene. Gene. Four-year-old Gene. Well, he's going to be rich and like going to like super cool people's school. So yeah, with like fucking Tegan's kids or something. So <laughs> Gene is going to be, you know, like he'll be Baby fine. Gene. You don't have to worry about it really yeah. as much. Uh, um, in gen pop, I think you definitely do. But when you're like in the, in the private school, celebrity yeah, when world, you're in the yeah. celebrity world, I think Gene will be just fine. Be Gene, be Gene Schumer. No, I don't know what the, what the husband's name is. This is Patterson. I just want to see that on an SAT, fill in those bubbles. <laughs> what is that? It's a family name. It's from, I'm from Pangea. So <laughs> my, all my, my parents and relatives are really concerned uh, that I would forget where I came from. So we had to dip back into the waters of Pangea again and really figure his whole fucking shit out. <laughs> maybe a couple claps at the end of it you know mm-hmm. almost like you're flipping pigeons off a roof before the cops come into the ghetto like you know i'm sure that was in my family tree as well i told you like my fifth or like sixth great aunt was betsy ross and that's yeah. that was a real thing that's real mm-hmm. um and that's how they settled on the name ross my my, my father's side of the family wanted a family name my mother wanted just a normal name. Right. She liked the Ross name. Ross is not that normal, but. Well, at the time it was. So her favorite show was Mary Tyler Moore. There was okay. a character named Ross on there. Okay. And uh, so she said that. And then from my dad's side, it fell into, that was my grandmother's last name. So they were the Rosses. Oh, nice. Uh, from Pennsylvania. Yeah. So um, they kind of met in the middle on that. And it was just, that was a nice you know, I guess fucking mix. Mm-hmm. Uh, Compromise. Yeah, but growing up, nobody knew what it was. Like you know, I, I was some. I remember somebody over the intercom system. Uh, one of those, you know, who, who's the lady that calls? You know, over the intercom system, who just gets on is like, she sits at the front desk. You know, if you're yeah, late, like you got to check in. What do you call them? Secretary. Yeah, something. I guess a secretary. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling real dumb, just real Pangean dumb mm-hmm. today, like a dumb caveman today from Pangea. But she, like, for whatever reason, they just couldn't wrap their mind around the name Ross right. whatsoever. So she, call, she said, um, attention, attention school, I need to see Rose Patterson, <laughs> Rose Patterson in the office. And I, dumb, like, dumb. Dude, that lasted for like two fucking years. Rose. People calling me Rose, and I was just like, "Ugh, oh, you can't Gross. win." Rose, you can't win. Well, I, I they're could. gonna call you something. They're gonna call you something. And then, dude, <laughs> friends happened, right. and then, and then, then it all fucking happened. And people were like, "Oh, Ross, yeah, man, that's a cool name. It's that. Yeah, I love it. he's one of my favorite characters on Friends." And I was like, "All right, right. cool." But growing up, I used to have to say like whenever I would say it because they would say Russ. Yeah. Or Rose or, you know, and I was like, yeah. look, man, it's Ross, like Betsy Pro or Diana. Can we just mm-hmm. move on with our fucking life? Mm-hmm. And um, until. Would you say it like that? Yeah. Every... Would we just move on with our fucking life? Yeah. Because it, it wow. was always this look of this of like, huh? Mm-hmm. Ross. Ross. And I was just like, hey, man, it's R-O-S-S. And then it would ask if it was short for something, too, all the time. Mm-hmm. So in school, I would lie. I would say, like, uh, I remember in eighth and ninth grade, I would lie. And I was like, yeah, man, it's, it's short for Rastafarian. I was like, my parents work for National Geographic, and they had me on a, on a trip. My mom was a photographer. And uh, I was born, this Rastafarian pulled me out of my mother's vagina, and I was born into the world. But I was like, I go by Ross for short because I'm white. Right. And I used to say that, and, like, all my black friends would die laughing every time. And they were like, oh, my God. So awesome. my parents didn't know, right, uh, that I was doing this at right. school. And my buddies on the, on the football team, we walk into a Walmart. And from across a Walmart, I mean, all you know how deep a Walmart is. Yeah. So it, if you scream out a, across a Walmart, it really lets freedom ring sure. off the walls, right? Sure. And so I walk in with my mom to a Walmart. And all my, my black buddies were like, Rastafarian! Rastafarian, what's up, dude? 
my mom is just like, what is going on? And then they all walk over and they're like, yo, what's up? You know, chatted, whatever, dapped, left. Sure. And uh, my mom's like, what the fuck is going on? I don't know. What's Rastafarian? And I was right. like, well, everybody asked me if it's short for something. Finally, I just said Rastafarian. And like, we all had a good, good hearty chuckle she out of it. have been mortified. Mortified. Ask her about it to this day. She'll tell you the story. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, name can really affect the rest of your life. So when you see a hard gene like that. Mm-hmm. Oof. I don't know. My name didn't really affect me. Jesse? Yeah. It's kind of a dude's name. Yeah, but even that. Do you get that a lot? Yeah, but so. So you were cool. You were cool with it. Yeah. All right. Eh. Look, I would get Jessica every once in a while. I would get. Yeah, a lot of people ask me that if it's Jessica or baby Jessica. It's always like Sir or be like Sir Jesse or people are looking. You know, like someone come to the door. Is Jesse? Does he live here? Right. Just like a. Or like a, a lot of people ask me if you were baby Jessica. The girl who oh, fell the in the well. baby Jessica. Yeah. And they were be like, fun. is she shortening it to get rid of her past? Mm-hmm. Um, was like, she the girl in the well? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know if she was in that goddamn well. <laughs> but. <laughs> right. I'm a glad she's alive and well. Nailed it. Boom. Jokes today. Jokes, jokes, on jokes, jokes, jokes. On uh, Kids, we, look, we heard your messages at home. People miss the live sponsor reads. I've gotten that 50 million times. And look, we have, what, 1.6, 1.7 million listeners at this point. It, it, it's become overwhelming. And they're like, hey, we, we actually want to hear you read the sponsors again. And I'm like, all right, man, the people have spoken. Gordon Wagner. Right. You win. You write it. You, you win. win. Everybody wins in this. And I'm surprising because usually people are like, eh, I don't, I don't really... I don't really care, Ross. Um, right. But no, not on this show. This show, they miss it, and they want the sponsors back. So look, as always, we're, we got some sponsors who pay for this fucking show to be on the air somehow. And we're back. Dude. You guys asked for it, so fuck it. We'll do it. BlackRifleCoffee.com. A little BRCC in the morning gets you going. You got it in your cup today. Mm-hmm. You're going. You're double cupping it. It's not double cup. No, I mean, you, that's, you, you've got two cups worth of... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've already had a full one of this. Look, kids, if you've got to wake up in the morning, there's only one coffee company to do it with, and it's BlackRifleCoffee.com. Jabe's this morning I had to take her mom to the airport at uh, 4... 4... 4.15, I had to 4:15 get up. 4.15 in the morning. Yeah, and then the kid was up... All night. Every hour before that. So... <laughs> I don't know. Double up, James. I don't even know what to say anymore. Double up. Go to blackriflecoffee.com and double up yourself. Subscription of the month program is where it's at. Promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Do it, learn it, live it, love it. Next up, we got ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. I like it. you're just putting on lipstick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, people we, don't mind, believe me. We have Talk a, about getting messages. We have a video show. Mm-hmm. On YouTube, Jabes. Yep, the people don't mind seeing me just put watching on lip you. Gloss. Really? Mm-mm, I've gotten many. Is that a too. is that a sex thing? It's a thing. Is it? Mm-hmm. Is that some type of sex thing? Yeah. All right. All right. Look, there's a lot of things we don't know about on this show, but we know if you're doing a crazy sex thing, you might as well do it in a ghost bed. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. I host both. It's on both sites. Uh, if you're military first responder, fifteen percent off forever. Go to the bottom of the page, go to the footer, click it, rip it, learn it, live it, love it, sleep in it. Uh, The pillows are second to none. The the goddamn mattresses are made, well, with with, with the hands of angels, really. Right, veterans. No. Oh, the hands of angels. The hands of angels make that. The hands of veterans make Black Rifle coffee. Mm. Come on, Jay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, The hands of angels will keep you safe and sleepy in that bed. Uh, as always, 36 month, no interest pays you go program at ghostbed.com forward slash drinker bros. No one's doing that. Get a, get yourself a mattress, get, get in the game. Uh, if you're a regular human like myself, you got a hundred dollars off the classic $200 off that ghost Lux mattress. And that bundle package is always seven ninety nine. That's a one-time use ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. That's what I have in my cup today. 
Yeah, because you already did the coffee. Did. Then you move on to a strike force. I move on to a strike force in the middle of the afternoon. I don't go strike force till later. Yeah. Last work. Yeah. So uh, I, I put a little strike force in there. Four amazing flavors. Lemon. Orange, a ridge, and make America great again. 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle. No carbs, no sugars, no crash in the afternoon. Shit lasts longer than fire hour energy. Kick the can. You don't need it anymore. Go to strikeforceenergy.com. They also have a subscription of the month program. Type in the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. And as always, they ship everywhere in the entire world. Last but not least, we got straightrazors.com. Oh my gosh. It's been so long you forgot. <gasps> Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you right? That's what you paid for. That's the price of admission right there. And if you're subscribing on YouTube and watching the video show, that's the best one you've ever done in your entire life. Oh my gosh. Thank you brought it from you. the basement. You Thank brought it from you. the basement. The howls of Pangea. That's what that sounds like. Um, <laughs> gonna I'm, not, I'm not going to let that go today. The Pangea. Okay. I'm not going to let that go today. Okay, cool. Straightrazors.com has got everything you need in this life to be a real man. Also, still number one in pregnancy shavings. Um, mm-hmm. Pregnant shaving bushes. Everybody's using a straight razor for their bush. So go to straightrazors.com. Beard oils, mustache waxes, shampoos, conditioners, finest straight razors in the biz. If you're worried about using a straight razor, I got a safety razor, which is real nice. Also, it's about Father's Day. Get your Father's Day a kit. Get him a kit at straightrazors.com. Use that promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. As always, my books. Uh, I'm going to do the new one today. I'm going to do the new one. I'm not going to say When Darkness Falls, he doesn't catch it, and Night She Cries While He Rides His Steed. Okay, not, not going to say, say it. Not going to say that. Not going to say that at not all. Not going to say those. What I'm going to say is thank you for my service is out. Uh, the biography of uh, one of my best friends. I got to, to write it with him, and it's incredible. It's on pre-sale right now. Go and buy that shit. Everybody's super amped about this. Well, it's exciting. It's, it's been a long... It's been a long three years. I can promise you this, man. It's the craziest military book ever written and it, it it's I, different we changed the genre altogether so it, i would compare it more to deadpool to be honest with you um i'm surprised they let us do it but it is actually coming out and is available everywhere uh and amazon it's available on amazon as well and a lot of people ask me hey man what the problems you have with the last book are you expecting and i was like no it's a, it's a biography so you kind of beat it nobody's gonna rip a military hero's book only if you're writing fiction these days that can you can they fuck with you uh, speaking of getting fucked with, having a little baby and getting fucked with, I want to ask your thoughts on something crazy that I saw. I mean, just really fucking crazy. Instagram has been toying with new things, right? Mm-hmm. They're always fucking with their algorithms, which I hate. I just want to see it in order of all my friends and blah, blah, blah. Right. right? The newest thing they're doing, they tested a, a side-to-side swipe option, mm-hmm. and that's leaked for about 12 hours and people revolted and they did it to like half the the world um yeah where you had to swipe to see the people instead of going up and down Mm-mm. it would like people alter my mind yeah people revolted and they were like oh that was a glitch in the system right. we're super sorry that was not a thing because they don't want to they don't want the same problem that happened to snapchat once snapchat did that upgrade you know when they completely changed their whole system it was i mean the stock tanked everybody walked out of there and you never i don't i don't ever hear about snapchat in conversations anymore no i really don't people use the filters they use the filters and that's about it and then they put it on instagram Mm -hmm. here's what instagram wants to do and when i heard this i was like fuck that that's ridiculous um but the majority of the people like 80 percent of the people said we love this and it the grand mystery james that i'm alluding to here they want to get rid of likes yeah, I saw that. I don't, I don't like that. Well, Do you? you don't like it, and a lot of people that actually use Instagram for their business, business. don't like it. Yes. So everyone that was speaking out against it was influencers, people that make their money from likes, essentially. So yes. they get paid by the amount of likes that they're... Um, likes, so views. You can and personally, you can personally see it. And they're, they're, but everyone else can't see it. You're right. 
And they're, uh, the other thing they're doing is, is thinking about uh, making your follower count harder to find in your page. So you'd have to really dig on somebody's page to find that. It's mm-hmm. like, man, I, I know a lot of people out there. And we've had a lot on the shows, both shows, Drinking Bros in here, who make money off of Instagram yeah. and all that stuff. Not like, so what? Inst- not just because they're models, right? But because they have, like, take Black Rifle Coffee, for example. That's a, that's a good one, right? They're an e-commerce coffee company. They don't have too many brick and mortar stores. I think they only have like maybe four or five around the country. Mm-hmm. They're building more, uh, but it takes that takes time and a fuck ton of money to build brick and mortars across the United States, right? Mm-hmm. So therefore, you're dependent on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. If you take away what it is, to me, I almost judge, you know, companies on how big they are or, or good they are. Versus what their Instagram accounts are like. Because in, in, in my case, to be totally real with you here, it's not that I'm following the trends or like, oh man, I'm just, I'm a follower and I'm looking for the next cool thing. If people like a, a certain product a lot, a lot of people like it, I trust the product more and then I'm more inclined to buy it. So for businesses, I think it's a real big fuck you. So here's the way I think of it. Okay. So Instagram has this platform they did not set up for themselves to get any cut of these people. So anytime there's um, a platform that people start to make a lot of money Mm -hmm. using without actually paying the platform. So in my mind, I feel like Instagram is like, hey, these people are making a million, half a million for a post on our fucking platform right right so what i think this is setting up for because you always have to like go you know who's going to benefit and why so they are saying that it's it's for people's psyche and there's too much mental health mental health but here's what they're going to do so if you are an influencer if you need those likes to be um public or if you need to have some kind of you know dashboard to show People, advertisers, advertisers, yeah. they will charge you for that. So if you want that, it's now going to be something that as an influencer, you need to pay for almost on Ooh, Facebook. Like you boost. Yeah. And again, I don't know this is true, but it, I don't think that ever, makes sense. Ever a, com- a company like that would do something like that for mental health. Never, ever do I think that they are actually and you shouldn't either ever think that they have your best interests in mind. I, you know, because I, I was trying to think of. And that's what Another I worry. One case. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. I worry about iTunes because like that's, you know, this is our thing. It's free and not that people are making millions, but you're making a, you know, a living. And that's why we're doing the sponsors on the show is like support supporting us is supporting them. So like you don't pay us money, but if you buy some cool products that are made by veterans that we're, you know, sure. that supports us. Yeah. So everyone kind of gets a little piece of this, you know, pie, whatever, because it's except free. for iTunes. Except it's free. So at one, at what point is I, you know, at what point gonna start are they going to be like, okay, well, you can totally do this except for you have to pay blah, blah, blah. So that's the sort of beginning of it for me. And it, it's scary a little bit. Not that I make any money from Instagram, but these platforms that people are making money for. But go ahead. Right. So that's where, what I first thought when I heard it. You know, it's funny. I, I didn't actually. Um, and I'll tell you why. Because I was trying to think of another product that has done this before. And I, can, I could only think of one. And it was Apple iPhones. So when I got the new iPhone... Um, there's a thing that pops up and I don't know if you get this, uh, cause the screen time, screen time. Yeah. How much screen time you use a week. And Tim Cook, um, president of Apple was like, but look, that doesn't help or hurt their company at all. How much you stay on there. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, the more dependent you are on your phone, you know, especially screen time, like you want a bigger screen then, you know, mm-hmm. you want to watch it. You want to yeah. do shit. You want to do more things on it. That helps sales. So telling people to not use their phone less was the only time that I could remember a company just openly doing that. Because again, I, I couldn't figure out a monetary value of, of what they would be losing or gaining by doing it. Right. But then Facebook also does that kind of stuff too, to feign that we have your best interest. So they'll be like, Facebook's the goddamn we, devil. And I know only, it yeah. We're only going to show you this, you know, it's more about family. We're going to show you these good things. These things are going to, so they, they 
again, these big corporations, whether it be iPhone or Instagram or whatever, right. Facebook only, whatever, um, it's never for you. Ever. Wherever they do weird thing like this, you can always trace it back to something, whether it's, you know, a better PR for their company, you know? It's always for them. You just have to figure out in what capacity it is. It's never for you. So the Instagram one makes sense to me. I understand that. Um, yeah, because you're trying to monetize everything. Don't you think that's what they're And I know, look, and, and, and since we're, we're using Black Rifle as, a, as an example, they, they pay for sponsorship on Instagram. So there's already sponsored posts right. by a bunch of companies on Instagram. So you're paying for that. Right. Now, I guess you want like the top people like Amanda Cerny and those guys to start paying Logan Paul to start paying uh, I mean, Kim people Kardashian. that make millions for a post, I think, is what they're most. The weird thing is, because uh, here's the other side of that for me, right? If, if it weren't for Kim Kardashian posting or my friends or, you know. That may be a different thing. Like, they probably have a different relationship. Right. <laughs> with Kim Kardashian. But these, you know, not micro influencers, but people that, you know, can make up to $200,000 for one post. That's about the, like you know, base going rate sort of thing for someone that's not a Kim Kardashian. So I don't know how many millions that is. Sure. To make 200,000. But, you know, I think that's the ones that they're targeting is these people that, you know, are, are full on making their entire living. Right. From Instagram. Right. Getting their own sponsors to pay them where Instagram goes, that should go through us. And we should get a little cut of that. If you're using our platform, yeah. showing them our dashboard that we give to you, our, st you know, our stats. All the them, analytics, right? We should get some kind of cut of it. And I know that's the conversation that's happening. And they're just trying to figure out how exactly we go about doing that. So, I, man, I've, uh, here's who I feel bad for. And I felt bad when YouTube did this to people too. Right. Because um, I had a bunch of friends who were making living, uh, great livings. Um, off of YouTube. Right. And then they changed their content of like, hey, we're not, you can't show anything with a gun in it. Yeah. You can't do anything else. Can't and it was just like, kids, dude. Can't whatever. Yeah. I, I know a lot of people who lost their businesses that they had right. built on that platform. It was gone. Same with Instagram. Like, you know, not, I'm going to use her as an example, uh, Amanda Cerny, because she was on Drinking Bros and we interviewed her mm -hmm. to build, I think she's 25 million followers, to build that up. I mean, you have to post all day long and it's got to, it, it really is kind of like a job. Um, you know, other people. It's a job, but you're not paying rent at the office that you go to every day. But you're paying so for employees that, and things like that. No, I'm to, saying, so the office finds yeah. out how much you're making. You just come into their office building, make all this fucking money and give them nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That I feel like is what's happening. Ah, James, you might've cracked They're the code today. Up, they're setting up their whole business yeah. inside your free platform. And who else was that? I mean, Starbucks makes money from doing this, but you know, you can't set up a full business inside Starbucks and not pay them or whatever. Sure. You know, they'll kick you out for stuff like that. So this, it, no, they, this, this the, completely makes sense. The only reason is because when they tell me bullshit, like they're doing it just because for mental health, my mind goes somewhere else. Cause I know Same. for a fact yeah. that a company that large is not sitting around thinking no matter what it does to our business. <laughs> yeah. Especially not you Facebook. You know what this meeting is it's about owned by guys? Facebook. Yeah. You know what this meeting is about guys? You know, they don't donate to any charity. They don't pay any fucking without taxes it either. Fucking, yeah. Without it benefiting them. They do nothing without yeah. it making them money and benefiting them. So, you know, eventually Oof. i don't again i don't know for a fact any of this but i believe that that's probably where they're gonna go because literally i mean there are so many people making full-on livings oh, on instagram 100 percent. we know a lot of them and right you know and so again my first thing is i feel bad for them and then i go hmm why would my first instinct be to feel bad for the influencers that are making a living on here yeah uh, you know, it's funny, because man. They will do anything to save that, including pay Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's funny because um, I know I, I do know a, a couple of people with massive followings uh, who are very, very close friends. And one of them doesn't do it for any money whatsoever. <laughs> it's just like, you know, you should, bro. You really should. That we know. Yeah. 
Okay. Just random posts, and I'm just like, man, you don't monetize any of that. Then I have other friends who monetize the shit out of it. Right. Where I'm just like, all right, cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to out them or whatever, but um, but uh, yeah, if that turns into that, it's super interesting. I think in the podcast sense of it, I used to be worried that iTunes would charge, right? Um, having two shows, especially with the size that they're at, you know, Drinking Bros is at 5.2 million listeners, and this is, again, 1.6, 1.7. Mm-hmm. Um, I was really worried that iTunes would eventually say, fuck you, we're going to put this behind a paywall. Because mm-hmm. we do it, you know, that's, that's the beauty of podcasts is that it's free. With so many options out there, I mean, we just, we just switched host for both shows. So we're with, we're with podbean.com. Yeah, I guess they don't have the monopoly anymore. No. And so going to, we were at, we were at a company called Libsyn uh, that, that, look, there's two, two or three host anchors, another one, uh, that are pretty reputable and they get your shows out to every, you know, try to get it out to as many platforms as you can. Libsyn was getting like, I don't know, 10, 10, 11 platforms. Whereas Podbean is going out to 121. And when I saw that number, I was just like, oh, well, right. fuck. Good luck. Because yeah. if it's not free, you're going to go to someplace else that is free. I can tell you that. Mm-hmm. And that was my thing with Spotify. Um, where when I was at, because I, you know, I write, obviously, every day. Um, but I usually always keep music on in the background. And it was Spotify. I didn't, I didn't want to pay for it just because I thought it was dumb. Right. I just thought it was fucking dumb. And I was like... I'll listen to a commercial every fucking 10 minutes or whatever it is. I don't really give a shit. If I was listening to the radio, I would listen to 80 commercials every 10 minutes anyway. So what do I give a shit, right? Uh, And then Apple Music came out and I was just like, wait a minute. Now that is something I'll pay for because it's endless of like, you know, Spotify isn't endless like that. Right. uh, Where it's just like, oh, Jesus Christ, this is crazy. But um, yeah, I, I, in the podcast world, I think, People start to migrate where things will, I, will be free. And it's like, dude, you can keep popping up with everything else. And you might ask what, what these apps get for in return, right? Why, why would they host free podcasts? Why would they do it? What are they getting monetarily out of it? Our data. Right. They're digging up our data and our analytics behind it. So, and I'm sure they're selling that to other companies for mm-hmm. advertising purposes and all that other mm-hmm. shit. Um, and that's why all these companies are doing it for free out of the... They're not doing it out of the good of their hearts. Libsyn was not doing it out of the good of their hearts. They're like, oh, man. Yeah, no. So. I- um, but it is kind of, it's hard to kind of trace in that sense. And people that host podcasts, it's kind of hard to trace how they make money, to be honest. Who? Just, I mean, like, from podcasts, as far as, like, hosting it, putting it up. Oh, the like app? This. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know exactly how. Um, I had a long conversation about it. Okay. Uh, it, it is, they are, sell, they are literally selling your data. Okay. So when you go on and look at the analytics, um, I, like let's take Drinking Bros, for example, because uh, I, I just had a, a meeting for, uh, with another sponsor for them um, that I was prepping for, and I had to go through the analytics and all that shit. And it was like, you know, 91% dudes that listen to the show and the right. average ages were like 25 oh, okay, to okay. 44 and all that stuff. And I'm like, all right, great. That's on my host site. And... If they know that, right. fuck, then they can exploit that. And then, then you listen to, uh, or not listen, but uh, you can watch listen times. So it, each episode has your listeners and where they nuked out of the show. Right. So like 28 minutes in, 32 minutes in, 44 minutes in. Both of our shows are really high as far as people staying as close as they can till the end. Therefore, they can flip that to their own advertisers. And hit that up and be like, hey, man, if you want to show where, where, you know, maybe you could pay a host to talk about a product organically mm-hmm. in the show. This one, man, these motherfuckers listen all the way to the end. Like, right. And you're like, oh, all right, cool. So, like, they're just taking all that data and then flipping it uh, to, to other companies and advertisers. And it's an endless game. But to them, it's like, oh, no, we're just hosting a podcast for free. And it's only $50 a month. No bigs. Right. And I'm like, hmm. Yeah, that seems like a really low dollar amount for you not to give a shit. Oh, you do give a shit. And this is what you're doing with all my data. Um, but in turn, I really don't care mm-hmm. either. So as long as the show goes out to free to everybody. Great. Whatever. Yeah. I, I liked Podbean because it, it had more options and um, you could do video. And, you know, I think v- video is the future. And we always tell people that. But it's true. And uh, I think more and more people, including myself, are watching it. And and I think 
that will be the next iteration too of like, all right, great. You, you know, podcasters will be able to monetize and all that other stuff. But that's expensive. Like you, you rely on sponsors to pay for your videographers and your editors and all that yeah. stuff. Um, unless you have a Jables who does it all on her own. But we're trying to trying to get you one. <laughs> <laughs> trying to what? Get me one? Trying to get you one. Well, you know, I wouldn't trust anybody anyway. No, you shouldn't. Too controlling. Yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't trust I'm anybody. Get them out of here. You shouldn't trust anybody whatsoever. Oh, that's cool. I want to talk about uh, a new product that everybody's making money off of. Like, that's just, compl- I mean, I, c- I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is really what you're making money off of? Like, I'm in the wrong fucking business. Water. Mm-hmm. And in particular, like, naming your water, like, these dangerous names and shit. So there's a water online that everybody in Silicon Valley is pumping money into, right? And it's called Liquid Death Mountain Water. Okay. And it says, oh, it's got... 21.9% BPH or, you know, some bullshit number, right? Okay. Where you're like, wait. And you look at the can. If you pull up the can online, yeah. liquid death, it looks, it's got like skulls and crossbones. You look like you might fucking die after having one sip of this. And I'm like, I, I kept digging through. And so at Amazon, it's on fire. 12 cans, twenty one ninety nine. Ship to your door. Don't worry. We deliver to all liquid 50 death. states. Liquid death. Why would you drink something that was liquid death? Because it's just water. That's all it is, is pure water. And so they're tapping into the uh, allegedly this is what they're saying sure. we're trying to tap into that uh straight edge community by saying hey drinking water's cool man it's cooler than drinking an energy drink liquid death oh, oh, oh. and then everybody's talking about it and you look at the can the can looks like a fucking bomb that was made by somebody where you're like jesus christ like yeah is this something that mcgruber has to disable i mean you're looking at it now yeah. I don't know if it's possible to st- put it up on the video show if you can. Um, I'll put up this picture of this totally metal fucking <laughs> like they have like the the can is the guy's head and his head has been ripped off and he has like a skull saver like. Yeah. And it's just death to plastic. That's it. Yeah. But it's um, in a, and it's in a can. 8.2 like, pH. Yeah. What the fuck? What is that? naturally alkaline that's good but it's it's just, water yeah it's water. okay so we're, we're we're still just talking about water right mm-hmm. all right awesome mm-hmm. liquid death and the I, I don't know if you noticed the font they're using that's the same font font of uh malt liquor yeah that's what i first thought when i saw it was kind of like okay this looks like a beer yeah well not only that but they're naming it tall boys so when you go on there You'll say, hey, would you like to buy the tall boys of this? Okay, dude. And it looks like a can of, again, like it looks like a 40 of OE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that, it's that same font. Yeah. And I, like, I, I, and I'm, I'm breezing through it, and I'm like, there's no fucking way this is real. There's no way this is real. On Amazon, everybody's selling this liquid 1.6 death. 1.6 million, huh? It raised. Yeah, oh, yeah. And then another 2.25 from an, from. Like the guy from Lyft or some bullshit. And I'm like, what? Liquid death. So stupid. Pounding water? That's what we're... I don't like pounding water from a can. I don't know. It's all right. I don't like I, Look, we, we drink this H like Factor this, all the time. And I like the pouch. Same. Just note, note to... They have cans. They have a can version of it, but I prefer the pouch. Yes. I prefer the too. pouch of it. Um, I guess it's there's something there for everyone. But y- Yeah, but li- liquid death, mountain water. I mean, what's next? You know? Oh, this is, this is bull's cock. I'll tell you what was first. What? Just water. Just water, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was. A, a, I don't know what's next, but I know it was first was just water. Yeah, just and then water. smart water. Hey, you dummy. Yeah, hey, hey you dumb, dumb, dumb. dumb. You want to stop being stupid? Go get some smart water. Go get some smart water. Would you get on your ACTs an 18? You're a fucking idiot. Go get smart water. 
Losers. Yeah. Oh, and if you're if your friends are making fun of you because you don't drink, you show up with a, a twelve, a oh, tall boy. Oh, that'll of shut them, death. shut them right down. Yeah. It's metal. What are you drinking? Water, son. Hardcore okay, water. That would be graphic an awesome, water. Like joke commercial. Oh man. I'd, like, I'd love okay, to Okay, cool. Yeah, I'd love to do pure anal water. Pure anal water. Right. Hardcore anal water. And it's like, wait, what? Yeah. Is that is it like sexual? Are you is it, do we stuff this Just in somewhere? It's confusing. But no. they're so metal about it. Like, make yeah. it really confusing, but they're so. And Silicon Valley's behind it. And you're just like, okay. And yeah. Then you just like drink it. And it's like, I don't know. Everyone told me that it was cool. What are you drinking? Liquid death. Oh, you are? Cool. Guess what I'm drinking? Hardcore anal water. Yeah. Yeah. Straight to the butt. Yeah. Paper beats rock. You know what I mean? Uh, that's the next step of this. And then, you know, what they have like a skull on there. So you could just have a just butt cheeks spread open yep, yep. and just a hole. Mm. And then you can just see the can of water coming out the hole. Hardcore no anal to make water. The butt kind of the top where you. Oh, yeah. Out of maybe. <laughs> You're just drinking out of the butt top. Mm-hmm. You're just you have pulling to the cheeks open. It. You have to like spread it every time to kind of like. Maybe that's Get how it, it seals up. Uh-huh. And then so then you, you can take it, it with you. Yeah. It puckers right back up. Yep. Hardcore anal water. Yeah. Don't worry. It's just water. Or We're, is it? Or is it? Or? It or is. is it just water? Yeah, yeah. It's just water. It's just fucking water. It is. It's just fucking water. It's just water. We just named it something. You can do anything with, with uh, any product out there. Which is good marketing and just make it successful. I mean, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. Yeah. As soon as you say like the tech community, because the Silicon Valley thing to us is so, do you know what I mean? To most people is like, oh. Yeah, it must be awesome. They knew something we didn't. Yeah. Know. They, they were into Uber bef- when we were all saying everyone would get raped and killed. And I people know. still are saying that. Their IPO is. I don't take Uber. I don't get raped and killed. Oof, their their, their uh, IPO is coming out tomorrow. That thing is going to be. A the mega thing beast. is that they don't really make money, right? I mean, they're no, a huge I, company, but their profits are like. I think they're losing uh, twenty-five cents a ride or something that I that yeah. I read overall, and and I think the, the drivers or something losing fifty cents or whatever it is. But um, uh, look, whenever you're starting a company in the infancy stages, you know, uh, even Netflix at one point was what six ninety nine. That's true. Now it's fourteen ninety nine. Right. You you you'll raise it and figure it figure it out. I think you know Uber and Lyft. I would imagine one one will try to buy the other one day, or Uber first and then try to combine mm-hmm. them. And uh, this ride share thing will be going on for a while until uh, Elon Musk takes over. Yeah. Because he's you know he said already that he he's having those taxis out, those driverless taxis mm-hmm. by the end of twenty twenty one. I think he said, and it's just like cool because once he does that it's it's lights out the only problem is it takes so fucking long for that shit to to happen that it's gonna be a while so look if you're in on this ipo on uber it's gonna be disgusting you're gonna make a disgusting amount of money the rich get richer yeah the rich get richer because you've got to spend a certain amount of money with your uh money money market manager Mm -hmm. over at the banks in Mm -hmm. order to get in on it and um you can't like a normal person can't get in on the IPO until after the bell rings. And then by that point, it's already jacked up 40 percent. You're lucky to make a couple a couple shekels right after that. Right. Um, but yeah, I, look, I think they'll figure it out. I don't like the crime and all that other stupid shit that happened in cabs. Yeah. And it's not, um, you know what I'm saying? Not like even really real. I mean, it's not like the vetted real Uber drivers are yeah. hurting anybody. Yeah. It's, uh, You know, I mean, one case that we've heard about, which is like, you know, someone didn't check if it was their Uber. They just got into a random car. Crazy. Whose fault is that? But everyone, everyone that's kind of against Uber, including cabs, including everyone that's a little bit older is like, see, yeah, yep, that's why I don't do it. (laughs) And you're like (laughs) that one person that got into didn't ask what the car even was just jumped into a car do you know what i'm saying hey well i've done it i must have died in a goddamn cab once so it was in a cab you told me the story. yeah 
Well, it was a gypsy it, cab, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, I, so therefore, to me, Uber, li- what's the fucking difference, man? Yeah, you have I can to die be, either way. Right. I'd rather die at a cheaper price. You know what I'm saying, brother? Right. I know you would too. You right. like you like those extra shekels in that bank account after mm-hmm. daddy kicks it. After I smash it in the back of a, you know, a semi. <laughs> You're on fire today, Jabes. Uh, lastly, I want to talk about this Trump tax thing. Because um, we go we go both ways here. We'll talk about politics all the way around on both sides and what's right and and wrong. I know they've been after Trump's taxes for a long time here. And they're like, the New York Times is like, we finally got him. Mm-hmm. We got his fucking taxes from, I think it was uh, a decade's worth of taxes. Somebody uh-huh. was able to dig up. And he reported losses of over a billion dollars. And they're like, oh, Trump's in the red. He fucking sucks and all this other shit. I, I, to me, that was not surprising at all. No. At all. When you're building multi-million billion dollar hotels and all that shit over and over and over again, some of them aren't going to be successful. Yeah. I know that might sound surprising, but if you have, most Americans have one business, right? And we've all failed at a business at one point or another in our lives. If you've started your own business, right, right, right. you've failed at it, right? I've had, I've, I've made movies that have made shit, nothing, you know, nothing. Uh, like I've lost hemorrhaged money on shit and you and people would be surprised they'd be like oh shit that movie i love that movie i can't believe that didn't make any money and it's just like yeah it happens right when you're doing as many hotels and restaurants and fucking bars and all this shit like trump was doing and that there's skyscrapers and all all this other shit this didn't surprise me whatsoever no do you remember like uh so atlantic city yeah for example yes i mean i would go to the boardwalk the trump Towers there were gross. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like failing, yeah. like falling down. Yeah. So it was, you know, there were some things, some ventures. That name was kind of shit for a little bit, for a second. Totally. So. And, and, and yeah. you know, and especially, I'm glad you brought up Atlantic City because, I, you know, I know that area really well. Um, obviously, you know, my, my old place was there and I spent a good majority of my summers up uh, about an hour south of Atlantic City. Grandparents used to go a lot to the casinos. Fun thing, not a a disgusting like gambling thing, you know. They would take $40 or whatever it was, right? Mm-hmm. I remember the Trump Towers and all that other stuff. My my dad actually worked for one of them in Atlantic City. Uh the reason why those failed in my opinion, is just my personal opinion, was Atlantic City itself got shitty. Yeah. So, That's what I'm saying. But you spend a lot of money making these like super nice hotels and everything else. Hotels, and, you think, and then the town goes to shit. That's a lot. Because he, here's what here's what it was pitched as Atlantic City back in the day is look back in the day. Atlantic City was it, man. You can go oh, back yeah. to the roaring 20s and all this other mm-hmm. stuff and the hotels and the boardwalk and everything else. Right. Yeah. Then they try to clean it up and they put in these nice hotels. Trump put in a bunch and all that shit. The problem was Atlantic City was just shitty at that point. I, nobody really wanted to go back. Yeah. It's, the, the hotels and everything are too spaced apart. It's not like Vegas where you could walk or take shuttles. or The way they set it up in Vegas, you know, from going from hotel to hotel, if you don't want to take cabs or whatever, you can take a shuttle. Yeah. You can take a fucking bus. You can take a, you know, the, all the escalators connect to like mm-hmm. nine different weird hotels. Yeah. You can always go to those. You don't have that in Atlantic City. You either have to drive, which let's face it, if you're in Atlantic City, if you're in AC already, you're drinking all goddamn day yeah. um, just because you're in AC. And even on the boardwalk, it's like hotel, casino, really long way on the boardwalk till another one. Yeah. Or until another like cool one. It, it, <laughs> so it's exactly. like. It, it's, it's hard to maneuver. It was hard to get around uh, the outskirts of Atlantic City. It's, it's a rough area around there. It's a rough neighborhood. Yeah. So when yeah. you're driving through there, it's just like, oh, shit. Do I really want to fucking drive through here to get to this hotel? Um, that, that was another part of it. Whereas Vegas isn't like that, man. You fly into Vegas, you know, it's sunny. Boom, that airport is, you can see the Mandalay Bay from the plane. And, you know, you can see all the hotels right from the plane. You're like, right. oh, I'm here. I'm in Vegas. Right. I don't have to drive through some weird ghetto to get to the casinos and get to where I'm going and all that stuff. You just don't have that in Atlantic City. Uh, they have one airport there that is... You know, I've flown in there a few times. Um, it's expensive. 
Like it's a hard airport to get in and out of. And you usually have to pay a higher fare to get there. So you just don't have that many flights. Mm -hmm. So the accessibility isn't the same as it is in Vegas. There's a bunch of reasons that that failed. Therefore, with all of these taxes and all this shit and you lost billions you know, or $1 billion over 10 years, not shocking at all. Um, and, and I find it telling that the story just kind of went away. Like, yeah. After like 10 hours, we were, were just like. I they were wanting to find, but they I don't were either. trying to, um, you know, prey on the dum-dums that don't realize that that's actually a smart way to do your taxes. Or the dum-dums that are like, yeah, if you have that many ventures, they're not all going to be successful. Yeah. Right? It's so impossible. Should, they make these stories, again, to prey on the dum-dums. And then if it's like doesn't really catch, then they're like, okay, well, it wasn't really a story. Yeah. And like, you know, I, I've read a bunch of those things where, you know, some of these LLCs collapse and all that stuff and like workers didn't get paid for working on the construction or whatever. Yeah. It's not like Donald Trump himself was out there saying, I'm not paying these workers. There's a board of directors and business, you know, fucking endless business meetings about all of this shit. If things are failing, you pull the plug and like that happens in every facet of life. Every single fact. The New York Times who reported this story. They're, fa- they're, they're currently failing right now and trying to figure out their business model. They're laying off workers across the fucking board. If you drive by there, they, used to, they still have the building in New York and it's massive, but now it's like three floors. The rest are rented out to other companies. Like, mm-hmm. they're, just, they're firing people left and right, not because they, they want to and they want people out of jobs. It's because it's not doing well and that's what happens when shit isn't doing well. Right. New York Times has sold the rest of their building to other companies because it's not doing well. That's what happens in a business. And sometimes you're successful, sometimes you aren't. But you keep trying and you move on with your life and you keep trying different ventures and try to make money in this world. What'd you want them to do? Lose a fucking billion dollars and then just sit there and be like, well, that's it. That's, that's my life and I'm out of the game and I'm not gonna try anything and I'm not gonna try to make myself a better person or a better businessman. Is that, is that what you really want out of people? Like, I, to me, that's, that's shitty. Um, that's a shitty way to, to, to look at it. And I, I, it, look, I wouldn't, I would never go out and encourage other people if they were, if they failed at something, not to try again at something. I guess they were saying like, how is it a loss if you have like so much money? Well, he's got money now, yeah. but you don't know what he was going through then. And that's the, that's the other part of this. And I had, do this I co- think it was all on the up and up? No, but I don't really care. Ah, I, I do you know what you I mean? do and you don't. The tax, look, there's loopholes in the way, taxes that everybody he... exploits. And, you yeah. know, until you close those out, it is what it is. But, like, I can, I can also say this. And, you know, the fake it till you make it thing is another big part of it. Of, man, I had uh, Graham Allen on the show on Dream Bros. He's on, I think he's on tomorrow's show. And uh, he was talking about a conversation where he was just like, man, I had like 2 million followers and I, we had done an interview together and he goes, I wanted to tell you, by the way, when I did that interview with you, I was fucking broke and I didn't have anything. And I mean, he launches into this whole story. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't know, man. I, mm. from the outside, I was like, they were rolling in it, breaking right, it, right. you know? And he's just like, well, you got to stay positive and you got to keep trying things and hope that it works out and whatever. And that's the truth. Like that's, that's what business is and all this other stuff is. So like, if he was faking it till he made it and didn't really have that money back then, I don't really give a shit. Um, me personally. Yeah, so, I don't really care either. Uh, but what I do care about is a crime corner, James. A crime corner. You get a crime corner for us today? <laughs> hey. Go again. Hand goes up. Go again. I cut you off. Crime corner. Crime corner. Okay, now this is sent to us from Detective Urykit. Anonymous still, still don't know who it is. You don't, do you? No. Who Urykit is? I don't. I don't. It's uh, if you go to Urykit on Instagram. I don't know who it is. It's U underscore Reich underscore it, I believe. Um, but we don't know who it is. So murder suspect who used big penis defense found not guilty and let me say Ah. his name right off the bat just in case richard patterson really do you know him dick patterson dick patterson big dick patterson yeah 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 yeah, i know of a big dick patterson right i don't know this one okay yeah i'll I'll look him up i'll go back to my pangean roots and look him up see because i mean 
So the Florida man who claimed his girlfriend choked to death during oral sex. He's 65, by the way. So there's going to be a lot of visuals here that you may not want. Or you may want. Or you may want. Yeah. That's going to be up to you to um, decide. decide what you're into. Yeah. Stop finishing my sentence. Um, <laughs> 65, uh, Florida, was acquitted of killing 60-year-old Francisca Mar- yeah. Marquinez. With his penis. With his penis. Okay, so during the trial, his lawyers initially argued that she died accidentally while performing oral sex. Because his penis was so huge. Because his penis was so huge. Um, so the it? lawyers, they filed a motion to show his penis to the really? jury. Really? Yeah. To just... That was my question. That was my next question. Yeah. So that was their defense. So they had to, you know, show it. But after a medical expert testified that choking during uh, the sex act was unlikely... The defense reversed course on the theory and said, you know, that that's not the way she died, but that's the way he thought she died. Okay. So. How did she really die then? They don't know. Her body is too decomposed. Uh, Which I've never heard before. So instead, the defense argued that there was no way of knowing how she died. Medical examiners were determined because of uh Medical examiners never determined the cause of death because the body was too decomposed, which I've never heard before. They've exhumed bodies before. Yeah, and let me ask you this. Was it too decomposed because the body was in this guy's house for that long? Or Yeah, see, they didn't say that. Yikes. They still don't know how she died. So see, The what... jury spent five hours deliberating before reaching the verdict, and if he would have been convicted, he would have faced life in prison. Was he convicted? No. He's found not guilty. I just said that. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Not guilty. So I think what happened was this. He <laughs> exactly. He was not said. guilty on that defense. Not guilty. That's, that's genius. So I think cold water on the okay, medical examiner throws cold water on murder suspects. Big penis defense. Yeah, I like that a lot. Up, yep. Right. Uh, you get it. I get it. I, I get it. <laughs> so and I love it. I think it. he thought he killed her with with his, his penis, dick, yeah. and so he didn't call. Maybe I, I, I and then I, yeah. she was like, yeah, I can left see that there for long enough that they couldn't tell how she actually died. Okay, I can see that. I can see that happening. Richard. I I side with Big Dick Patterson on this one. He was gonna pull it out. He was going to. That's to me. That's the ultimate OJ glove move right there of like, all right, right? cool. You want me to try this fucking glove on? I'll try the glove on. Shows it to the jury. You want to pull my dong out? Here's my dong. How do you think you would survive? Yeah. From this. From this. And then he just he just pulls out a fucking hog. Boom. He drops the hammer of Thor on that jury. He probably just threw it right up on the stand. Yeah. You know? It was just yeah. like, hey, he probably rested it up there. Yeah. Probably laid that big so dick right like on the jury the stand. The jury box, right? Yep. With that little ledge. Yeah. So it's probably something like this. Yeah. He ledged out. He just, just said, threw boom. it on the ledge. Here we go. You decide. Unfolded it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ready? Yeah. What do you Man. think? What do you think you would do? Yeah. Probably die. Probably die from it. Oh, Good for yeah. him. Yeah. That's kind of a, I mean, look, I feel, uh, obviously, I feel sorry for the deceased. I do. Obviously. But, you know, Obviously. she was 60. That's she was 60. Of, and, um, you know, yeah. Yeah. And uh, going deep so, on a hog. On a hog. So on a baguette. For him. You're going to. He has the best dinner party story ever for the rest of his life. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy story. Ugh. I killed someone with my Eesh. penis. What? Richard. Yeah. Richard. Richard. No, 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 we no. told you. Richard. Richard. Ricardo. We told you. Not. You we were going to come. <laughs> you can't tell the story. <laughs> At dinner. Yeah, you guys want to see it? Guys. You guys want to see Richard, it? Richard. 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 No. No. It's like, it's like Rob O'Neill, the guy who killed, you know, Bin Laden. Sure. Like, that's a, that's too good of a story not to share. Different, yeah, different. No, for sure, I, different. You probably are put them up compar- as equal. Mm. Look, we've had him on Drinking Bros. Next time he, we're, we're friends in real life. Yeah. Next but, time he comes on the show, okay, I'll I'm tell gonna, him. Yeah, that, I'm gonna tell him this story and be like, "Hey, which was cooler?" And I guarantee you, he'll tell you that 
that killing Dick? someone with a penis is cooler. Dick Patterson? <laughs> 65. <laughs> Dick Patterson, 65. Oh, Old man boy. hog. Killing yeah. People. Killing people. Killing people. I love it. Man, that's a great, that's a great crime corner. Anyways, thanks. You like it, whoever you are. Yeah, I like, Such their, a I like their Instagram. Still. I like their Instagram. That's big. That's a big. That's a good one. Uh, there's there's a few that have really gotten me that I've enjoyed. Sure, it's my core, and that's uh-huh, one of them. Uh-huh. That's one of them. I'm a big fan of that one. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? We shall. This one's going out to Mean Gene Okerlund uh, from the Gene, WWF. Gene, Gene. <laughs> Was that who was after? I would love that. I don't know. I but he's the that. only person I can think of that made the name Gene cool. Cool. Like, I, there's Gene Simmons, I guess. But, like, he's such Gene a Hackman. dick. Yeah. Gene Hack. But, but again, Wilder. here's the thing. There's a lot of cool genes, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Gene Wilder. How do you picture him as? What age? Yeah, exactly. Old. I, 50. Older. Gene Hackman. Older. All, all I picture Gene Hackman is from Hoosiers. I picture him at, at permanently 50, 60 years old. Yeah. Gene Wilder, same thing. Mm-hmm. Gene Simmons. Mean Gene. Yeah. Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons has always looked 50 years old. I don't know. I think he's always been 50. I think so. He has this weird disease. Yeah. That Some actors been 50. have these diseases where they're just always old, but they stay at this. Yeah. For years. Mean Gene Okerlund was a guy who took the name Gene and just made to the, the most, next level. So he made the most of it. Because you know that was rough. That was a rough go round. And then after that, it was like Mean Gene. And I, it was always a, a, a constant source of laughter when I would watch him as a kid, you know, announcing a thing. It was like, oh, we're going to go live with Mean Gene Okerlund. Yeah. And it's the most non menacing person on oh, the planet. Oh, totally. You're like, oh, Grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he did it. He's the only one that's made Not it cool. Not like Dick Patterson. And this guy looks scary, by the way. Big Dick Patterson? You yeah. bet he does. You get a, you, if you have a hog like that, I, I bet you he's a, a ruthless individual. Right. I bet you he's a, probably an iron worker. He works with a lot of steel. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I bet he pounds steel for a living. Pounding the steel. Swings that big dick around. Uh, thanks for submitting that. That really made my day, actually. Uh, James. Yes. You look sprightly. Mm. You look sprightly for what you went through last night. Don't lie. And you know, you sometimes are, you just. are Meghan Markle on the show. You're our princess. Why would you do that? <laughs> that makes me mad. Now I'm leaving this so mad. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. the Jabes, our little princess. I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.